In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Autorig Pro to rig your character face. And then after that, I will show you how to fix some problems. Then we'll manual create shape keys and then transfer it from one mesh to another mesh. This is very technical, but I will give the best method. So now let's begin. So on our scene here we have our character head. Then I have our separate eyes. The right and the left and the right eye. And I have the upper and the lower teeth. And the tongue separated. To begin select your character head. Press A and select all the mesh. And press N and bring the sidebar. On the Auto Rig Pro. Click on the Smart Rig and then click Get Selected Objects. Change it from Full Body to Face only. Then click on Add Chin and put the marker on your chin. When you're done click on Facial Setup. This one has to be on your ear side. And this one has to be on your cheek side. Now you have to align that circle on your eye. It will automatically mirror it on your left side. So you have to align that one to your eyebrows. So when you are done with it, go to the object mode and then on your eye. This one we have the separate. I have two eyes. So you switch it from one eye to two eyes. And then select your left eye and use the pickup icon and click on it and it will automatically and then choose the right eye and align it. Then when you're done, click on Go. Then you see Auto Rig. Automatically align the bone to your face like this. So if you are happy with the results, click on the Match to Rig. Now we see that our rig has been generated. Go back to object mode, press E and select everything, then. You have to make sure the rig has been selected, last. Now go to skin tab. Leave the default setting then click on bind. Now let's test the rig. Let's test the mouth too. So the mouth is okay, but you see there is some. There are no problem here with the teeth. The teeth don't have to deform, but it is deforming. I will show you how to fix this one. Now you see that when I move the tank, it's moving the teeth along. The one that have to control only the tank. So let's see how I can fix it. Go to object mode, now select the teeth. Go to edit mode. Press A and select all the vertices. Then on vertices property, click on down that arrow button and remove from all groups. Now you see that it was snapped to the button. Now on a vertices group search for jawbone. Now you see that we have jawbone bond dot x. Select it and click on assign. Then you see that it will snap to the button of your your chin and then select the upper teeth. And then remove click on down arrow. 
and remove from all groups. Then after that search for head. And make sure select the head S and assign it to it. Now from that the teeth will not deform again. So now here I quickly test it. Now see that now the tank is moving without any defamation on other parts. So now here let's create the shape keys for our model. So first press shift plus D to duplicate the head. Then go to the modified property and make sure they duplicate. 1. You disable the rig view so that you can the rig not have effect on it. So here you have to make sure that the X mirror is enabled so that it can mirror on the other side. Here I quickly make some small face like that. Now let's see we cab transfer the shape keys. Select the duplicate one and go to the vertex property and add base shape key to it. With the original one selected press shift plus D and selected the duplicate one. On your shape keys click on the down arrow and select join as shape. Now we see that we have get the shape key for our duplicate one. So now here I also create another, another face pose again. When you are done with the pose select your original head and the duplicate one and go to the vertex property and click on that arrow and select join as shapes. Now you see we can control our rig room the duplicate deck. To create another shape you have reset your rig pose with Alt plus G and Alt plus R. So here I repeat and make another shape. Make sure before you create another shape again. You press Alt plus G and Alt plus R to reset the pose. The face pose and then create another pose again. Then after you play the push, you select the original one and shift select the duplicate one. And on a virtual property and ship keys, click down the arrow and select join a ship. So to transfer your shape keys from the duplicate one to the original one, select the original one first and the duplicate one and then on shape keys. Click on the down arrow and select the transfer shape key. Now you see that our shape key has been transferred from this one to the original one. So how to continue? You select the shape key from the duplicate one and shift select the original one and click down arrow and transfer shape key. So now you see that our shape king has been transferred from this guy. So this one is not unnecessary. Again, you can delete it. Now you see, we have get a nice shape key for our guy here. You can continue to add your own shape keys to your head to your mesh. So this one is for bonus. I want to create blink shape for the mesh. Select the original Oni and go to Shaping Plus and name it Blink. Now go to Sculpt Mode. Press G for Grab. Make sure that your X Mirror Mode is enabled. Here I tried to move by it was not moving. 
I was not new that I have to set the value to 1 before. So now you can. You can quickly shape it. I will try to do another tutorial for how to add shape keys correctly alone. So you see that we have our blink shape keys. The other blink and the angry. The smile and other stuff. So you can continue to create also guys, this is the end. Please like and subscribe for more videos.